Hi, this is Shannon, just going over the Padlet app today. Padlet is web-based, so you can get to it on your regular computer. You also can create and contribute to a Padlet on your iPad. And we'll jump into what that is, what a Padlet looks like right away. But for those of you who might not be familiar, it's essentially a digital bulletin board that you can post more than just text. You can post images and videos and links. Um, you can do a lot of different things with it depending on what your needs are. The Padlet app looks like an origami bird, so we'll click on that to open it up. I already have a Padlet account, so it opens up and it shows me all of my boards. For you, if you need to create an account, you can either log in with your Google account or you can use your email. It's fairly quick. I'm going to talk, go through making a Padlet, so I'm going to click on the pink circle with the plus button. I have, I'm going to start with a blank for today. Now it gives me a few previews of different layouts of my posts. I could do a wall or canvas or a stream. Now I would say if you're going to have more than four or five students posting at the same time, I wouldn't use the canvas option. Uh, the posts will start to show up on top of each other and it just gets fairly chaotic. All the other areas, you it will lock their post into a space that doesn't overlap anyone else's. So just be aware of that. And I'm going to go ahead and click on wall. Now when it comes up, it always gives you kind of a funny, whimsical name and a background. So to edit this page, I'm going to click on the gear in the top right corner and that will bring me to a modify screen where I then can change my title and I will just call this my practice padlet and then I'm just going to delete this description but this could be where you give your students more information of what you want them to use it uh, or to post on there. So you can choose any of the wallpapers. They always give you a few thumbnails and you can also click on more and then it will give you some fun wallpapers that you can use in the background. Obviously some of these are incredibly busy and might not be what you're looking for with your students and there are some more basic ones also. Once you have what you want click save at the top then now right here there's a message saying view premium plans. I use Padlet quite frequently and I have never felt the need for more. So some of you may, but I really think for most of you the free version will be plenty for you. For icons, this will show up just to the left of um, your title. So you can either just click one of those icons or you can choose more and more will come up. Uh, but I do like the planet, so I'll leave that. Now, if you, if your students um, are logged into a device and you turn on attribution, depending on you, how your school creates their student accounts, uh, it will probably show their name. Um, but if not, you can just have that turned off and ask them to write their names. Now, in the collaboration section here, this is where you can turn on to allow viewers to comment on posts. Obviously be aware that they can post or they can comment whatever they would like, but this could be a nice place to gradually introduce them to online discussions. And you also, if you're not ready to do full on comments, you can just turn on reactions where they could like a post, vote, give it a star, one to five stars, or give it a number grade and you could set what the numeric maybe it's just one out of ten and then they'd be able to to set that up the like option is a nice one because there's nothing negative to it so that can be a great one to start with if you are just trying to prepare your students for giving feedback online and communicating you can add tags to make it searchable if you'd like you it will give you this uh, this is my board name, but I could erase that and I could just call it Ryrie. When I press save, now my wall's all set up. In order to post something, 
I just click the plus on the bottom or I can double tap anywhere on the screen and a box will pop up. And I could say, let's try this out now and I can give it a title so if this is where you want your students to post their names you can put them there now there are a few icons at the bottom of this box a microphone camera plus sign camera and page this is just to let you know you can click anywhere down there to add a photo something from the camera a link from the web or you can browse your device for different things. So here are some files, okay? Now, depending on what you want to do, you can post any of those links or you can just say post if it's just text. Now, the nice thing is because there's a camera attached to this, if you are teaching your students about physical and chemical change, you could hand your students the iPads and you could say, I'd like you to get onto this Padlet and post ex one example of physical change and one example of chemical change that you can see in the classroom or if you're brave enough to let them wander outside. They'd, ha they'd have to be hooked up to Wi-Fi to be able to post to the Padlet, but they could at least take a picture on their camera without being hooked up to the internet. Um, so kind of it's nice to be able to take real world examples and easily put them onto this board. But that's really how it is. The next student that uh, posts would type something and then it once again would automatically just get put on this screen. Now, I did mention you're sharing this Padlet with your students. One really nice thing about the app is they make it very easy to share. When I click on share, it gives me, first of all, it gives me some permissions. Do I want them to be able to write or do I just want them to be able to read? Now, if you want your students to post anything, which I think is great for this type of board, you would want to leave it that they can write. Another huge thing down at the very bottom, moderation. If you were concerned, as you probably should be, about occasionally a student posting something that's inappropriate, you can turn on moderation and that means that only on your board will you see everyone's posts. They will only see all the students on their own board. They'll only see their own until you go through on your master teacher board. And at the bottom of each post, it will say approve. And as soon as you know that it's appropriate, you click approve. And then it will show up on everyone else in the classroom's boards. So then everyone can see everyone else's posts, but not until you say yes. Over on the right side where it says share slash export slash embed, if I click right there, it gives me this QR code. So if your students are on a Padlet and you have a QR code reader downloaded, this is an incredibly easy way for this to go straight, to send them straight to this Padlet. You could just screenshot this, you could project this in the front of your classroom and then your students could just scan the QR code and it would bring up the Padlet and they could get to work. There are other options here also and there are some exporting options. So you can save your board if your students have done great work and the content they have on the board is something that you want to reference later then you absolutely have these export options to save as an image or a PDF or a CSV or an Excel spreadsheet. So you can save this in a place that's maybe more convenient than getting back into your Padlet every time you want to remember what they posted for your physical and chemical change board. Once you've set those options, make sure you click Save. And then, again, that's set up so that your students are able to post on this Padlet. Again, you can turn on that, turn on that comments feature to, so that they can learn to give constructive feedback and have online conversations in kind of a safe environment, a board that just you and your students have access to. It's a really slick and quick tool. And when your students scan the QR code, they don't have to log in, they don't have to do anything. It just takes them straight to the Padlet, which is really nice that there's no typing involved to get them on to the Padlet page. So this is one of my favorite apps and a great go-to for online collaboration with you and your students and your other teachers that you're working with. This can be a great landing place for so many different, so many different things.